Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today, we're going to continue the discussions that we've been having. And part of these discussions is daily reflections. The research that I've been doing, the discussions that I've been having, I want to share those discussions and insights with everyone over here within five to six minutes. So the key thing today uh, I want to share is um, about what what happened to Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, alayhi, and the things that we have seen over the past uh, or, or very recently, and some of the analysis that uh, I've been having discussions with one of my brothers uh, is understanding what are the signs that we will see towards the end of the or before the arrival of the Imam. So the world completely changed that day, that fateful night when the first terrorist in Islam burned down the house, or the door of Sayyidah Fatima Zara, the house of the Prophet, the house of the Ahl al-Bayt, the house of the inhabitants of Kitha, when that house and the door was burned down and that door was pushed on Sayyidah Fatima Zara and she was struck and she had a mis miscarriage and her son Mohsin was martyred. That was the first terrorist activity as it involved innocent children, innocent women and laid the foundation of terrorism for the eternity. That happened literally a few days after the death of the Prophet And to this day, to this day, that atrocity has remained unpunished. In fact, the culprits, the perpetrators, the actual doers of these this heinous crime are revered in the entire Muslim Ummah. That there is no bigger atrocity that can happen that you O Muslims kill the daughter of the Prophet in her house next to the mosque of the Prophet next to the grave of the Prophet and kill her son unborn son and revere the killers to this date now this is the helplessness the atrocity the, the, think about the atrocity. Think about the helplessness of the Ahl al -Bayt -Salam, that who endured this, and people had to keep quiet because they had to they had to survive the lives. So at one point, at some point in the future, inshallah, very closely, very in the very near future, these atrocities will come back for to haunt. There will be revenge. And the one who will take the revenge is none other than the son of Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, salam, the son of Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, the son of the nine Imams, the twelfth Imam. When he comes back, that is when these atrocities will be taken revenge of. Now, we have seen over the past several years many of the signs that have been mentioned in different books about the end of times and there are like a lot of discussions that dr Srar or uh, other people have done i won't go into the signs a lot of signs but there are a few things that i recently started reading about especially uh from the the narrations or the khutbah the sermons of imam ali -Islam, and other um, sermons from the prophet there are things like people will be uh, cursing their parents or there will be no difference between men and women men and women will be interchangeable their men will be living with men and women will be living with women children will not be uh, they will not be obedient to their parents the kings will be the worst of the people the the scholars will be the will be put in the worst of the shapes and no one will listen to the right thing whereas they will listen to the wrong things and so on and so forth these are big sermons i want to highlight a few things as the time comes close as the time comes close for the reappearance there are a few things that will happen there will be a call in the night that the imam is coming and then there will be a call in the day a counter call that the imam is not coming or it will be like something that will confuse people and that call will happen in the month of ramadan and once that call happens then there will be a solar eclipse and then the events will start to shape because the imam has to come in the month of muharram so you have ramadan shawal zikad zilhaj muharram these are the five months where 
things will be happening. So we, we should be very considerate and very watchful of the events that will be unfolding um, at any time. We should be always be watchful. Like, for example, the flooding in uh, Pakistan, like two thirds of the country was underwater or the flash flooding that happened in uh in Saudi Arabia or the other parts of the world where there's famine and the, the the things that are happening in terms of like the COVID and all those things, we have to be watchful of like what is happening and be careful of these signs. And I for personally believe that the movie, The Lady of Heaven, in which this part of the history was first brought to the public was a sign from, uh, from Allah that there was an alternate version of history which was obscured by historians especially those funded by government may allah protect us all and give us the courage and marfa to help the cause of halibat alaihissalam